this is what the reality looks like. Two Chanel bags in the back, one in the front. I wish I brought a backpack. It could, lighting, it could go really. to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am in Boston right now, packed up from my hotel room. I'm heading to campus where I'm going to stay in a dormitory. I am so excited with this experience. There's about 700 pages here, all with different case studies to read. I got very excited going to Ryman's, the stationery store in London, picking up my folder, getting my highlighter pens. Let's go to Harvard. Quick little tour of my dormitory. So as you come in, there's my beds. It's actually really nice. So the leather headboard, the view here is so beautiful. Over there is where all the MBA students are and I'm in the executive program area. So pretty. It's like a winter wonderland. I've just been doing my reading for my first lecture. So this is my look for the first day. Some leggings, some trainers, socks, aloe yoga, my full sap top. I may actually wear this now. That would be quite cool. Let's not wear the Chanel. <laughs> Let's put this away. We're here to study, Emma. <laughs> It's not a fashion show, as my mom would say. <laughs> I'm gonna pack up my little bag, take my notes with me, and I have to be at the main chow center, it's called, the, that we're gonna meet there as a group. There's 51 in the group, and I'm a little bit nervous for the first lecture. I hope they don't pick on me. <laughs> I hope they're not like, Emma, what do you think about this? Good morning! So it's my third day here at Harvard Business School. So far it has been an amazing experience. I'm getting up in the mornings around 5.30, 6am, which isn't as bad as it seems because I am jet lagged, so the equivalent time is five hours later in the UK. So that's been working in my favour. Also, um, a lot of the cases that we're learning about are in the beauty industry, the fashion industry, so all interests of mine. And the group is so interesting. They're all entrepreneurs, either sold their companies, serial entrepreneurs, sold multiple companies. And it's been an amazing experience getting to know everyone. So far, I've just been loving the experience, way more than I expected. And I feel so much more confident. Anyway, um, I don't wanna be late for my next class. And I understand that I haven't been documenting as much as I'd like to. I'm gonna show you my outfits while I'm here, <laughs> of course. What do I wear for Harvard Business School? submit an assignment for a deadline. I haven't worked to a deadline in a while. I mean self-imposed deadlines yes but never for someone else. <laughs> it's been a while but um, I feel so good to have this purpose. You wake up in the morning, you go 8am to your group session, then by 9am you're in the lecture hall, you have like throughout the day there's like five case studies to go through. I'm learning so much. I feel like part of something, yeah. I'm learning, I'm growing, it just feels amazing and I really recommend if you have the opportunity and you can take some time off work or you know, to further your studies, learn and meet people, that's the best thing about this is that you can meet amazing people, um, so much talent, uh, diversity, people from different backgrounds. Let's do the makeup in the other room. Good morning. So I want to do a little get ready with me while I tell you about my experience at Harvard. So you're probably wondering, how did I get into Harvard? What's going on? So I 
decided that I wanted to further my academia, I wanted to meet new people, I wanted to challenge myself and I found out about this course called Launching New Ventures which is for entrepreneurs. You can have a scholarship, you can get sponsored. Uh, this, the fees are quite expensive, it's 24,000 US dollars to attend. Um, but I think it's so worth it. If you can get sponsored by your company, you can get a scholarship, then it really, really does make sense. I've always dreamt of going to a US university. I was so fascinated by the campus. I went to medical school first at Birmingham University and then I went to King's College in London to study history. So to see the difference between the US system and the UK was very interesting. So in the mornings I had really early starts and I used the time in the morning to really kind of set the tone for the day. I did my meditation on the Insight Timer, which is a guided meditation app, amazing. And then I would do my readings because I had to have the reading fresh in my mind because once you're in that lecture room they can they fire away at you, the professor, and ask you questions and you need to need to be on the ball. One of the case studies, for example, was Rent the Runway. I remember that one. <laughs> uh, rent the Runway is a business where you can rent uh, design addresses and instead of paying for them. And so we explored that business model. That was just one example, but we would have five different case studies in one day, maybe seven even actually on some days. I really loved my group. It was so amazing because there was about seven of us in our group and we all stayed in the same area of the dormitories next to each other. And so we'd had these group sessions and it was really helpful because then I felt like, yeah, I've got this. I'm gonna be okay. I know what to say. I know the answers, or at least some of them. And <laughs> I think I can get by. I wanted to spend a little bit more time looking around campus, but we were, we were back to back from group sessions, lectures and meetings. There really wasn't too much time. So yeah, I actually, one of the, not meant to happen. One of my favorite things about this course was the people I met. We're still in a group chat today. We speak frequently. These are people that you can go to for advice. You, you know, in the group chat, people are pitching businesses, they're raising funds, they're talking about their new job promotion, and there's this amazing, you know, connected feeling, this community feeling. Um, and I love that. That's what was my favorite thing. And what I also love is everyone's kind of energy and zest for life. That was really inspiring um, it could it could go to my youtube channel <laughs> i'm now going to put my outfit on and show you how i would style myself up for a day at university at harvard business school as rihanna says they may beat me but they may not beat my outfit i find that when i am studying working revising that i just think much better with my hair off my face and pulled back <laughs> it's always been my style Rouge Baccarat. So I'm wearing my Laura Piana Baby Cashmere hoodie. Very snug and soft. I'm wearing my Alaya high-waisted jeans. Little Chanel sneakers. Little white bodysuit underneath is Alaya. My trench coat. My trench coat is from Dior. I really love this one. It has a great fit. I love the color. It doesn't wash me out. I love how you can cinch it in at the waist. I think wearing the hoodie underneath it gives a more relaxed vibe and also an extra layer to be super warm. My bag, it's definitely not a rucksack, but it'll do. My copy of the Financial Times. And I think we're good to go. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my Harvard experience that maybe it got you thinking about what you'd like to do, whether you'd like to take on a new course, put yourself in a new environment, challenge yourself in a different way, get out of your comfort zone. And I hope you enjoy watching my recent vlogs, putting some extra work in. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.